Hello friends and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to solve an exercise on loops. So here is the exercise. I want you to write a program which prints the even numbers between 1 and 100. And this should be in an increasing order. So the output would be something like this. First, we print 2, then 4, then 6, up until 100. And after you finish solving this exercise, I want you to resolve it in a decreasing order. So the output would be something like this. First we print 100 and finally we print 2, right? So pause the video and try to solve this exercise. So let's see how we're going to solve this exercise. First of all, we want to iterate over the numbers between 1 and 100. In other words, we want to have a loop that starts from 1 and ends at 100. Now suppose that the variable we are using inside this loop is called i. So first time i is equal to 1, then it is equal to 2, and finally it is equal to 100. So in each iteration, we will test if i is even. So if i is even, we are going to print i, right? And this is it. Now as you can see, we are starting from 1 and we are ending at 100. So we are printing the numbers in an increasing order. And to print the numbers in a decreasing order, we want to start from 100 and end at 1. And in each time, we will print i if it is an even number. So now let's go to IntelliJ. So as we said, we want to iterate from 1 up until 100 and we are going to use a variable i. So I'm going to use a for loop, right? In this for loop, we are going to have an integer i which is equal to 1 because we want to start from 1. And i is going to be less than or equal to 100 and each time we will increase i by 1. So now we are iterating over all the numbers between 1 and 100. So in each iteration, we are going to test. If i modulo 2 is equal to 0, this means that i is an even number. So in this case, we want to print i. So let's say print i concatenated with a space. And over here, we are going to use the print method. So this is our solution. Let's run the program. And as you can see, we have the even numbers printed starting from 2 up until 100. Now what if I want to print the odd numbers? Then all we need to do is to change the condition. Over here, we will say, if i is an odd number, then we want to print i. So I run the program, and as you can see, now we are printing the odd numbers starting from 1 up until 99, alright? Now let's print the even numbers in a decreasing order. So the condition over here is going to be, if i modulo 2 is equal to 0, and we are going to change this for loop over here. We want to start from 100, and we want to keep executing the loop as long as i is greater than or equal to 1, like this. So the first number is 100, and we want the last number to be 1. So we don't want to increment i in this case, we want to decrement i, right? So in the first iteration, i is equal to 100. And after we execute this code over here, we are going to decrement i, so i will be equal to 99. And after that, i will be equal to 98, and so on. I will keep decreasing until we reach 1. So this is it. Let's run the program. And as you can see, now we are printing the even numbers starting from 100 and we are moving down up until 2. Okay? And we can do the same thing with the odd numbers. So let's run the program. And as you can see, this is the first odd number, 99, and we are moving down up until 1. Okay? And of course, we can easily transform this for loop into a while loop or a do while loop. Alright? Now let me show you another way to solve this exercise. I'm going to remove this if statement and I will keep this print method, alright? So as you can see over here, we are starting from 100 and we are moving down until 1 and each time we are decreasing i by 1. Now have a look at this. What if we decrease i by 2 each time? So the first time i will be equal to 100 and then it will be equal to 98 and after that it will be equal to 96 and so on. So this change over here ensures that i is going to be an even number. And of course, this is because we are starting at 100. And each time we are printing i. So let me run the program. And as you can see, we have the same result. The first even number is 100 and the last one is 2. Now what if we want to print the odd numbers? Then we can start over here from 99. So the first time i is equal to 99 and then it is equal to 97 and so on. So run the program. And as you can see, the first odd number is 99 and the last one is equal to 1. Okay? So let's print the even numbers. So in this case, we want to start from 2 and we want to move up until 100. So i would be less than or equal to 100. And each time we want to increase i by 2. So the first time i is equal to 2 and then it is equal to 4 and so on. So let's run the program. And as you can see, the last even number is 100 and the first one is equal to 2, alright? So I'm showing you different ways to do the same thing, okay? Now let's solve this using a while loop. So I'm going to remove this code. 
And first of all, we want to create our variable i. So in this case, I'm going to start from 1, okay? And we want to keep iterating as long as i is less than or equal to 100. So inside the loop, if i is an even number, I'm going to print it. So if i modulo 2 is equal to 0, then we want to print i. So print i concatenated with a space. And let's use the print method over here. Now after printing i, we want to increase it, right? So over here, I'm going to say i++. This is going to print the even numbers between 1 and 100. So let's run the program. And as you can see, this is our result, all right? Now let's print them in a decreasing order. So over here, i is going to start from 100. And the condition over here will be that i is greater than or equal to 1. So if i is an even number, we are going to print it. And after that, we are going to decrement i. Now let's run the program. And this is our result, all right? So this is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.